And as we continue to turn up the heat at home, some people less fortunate don't get that chance. So the community is getting out to help people experiencing homelessness get through the cold. KOCO's Colby Terrell joins us live in studio and Colby, one family is taking their recent loss and turning it into motivation to help. They are Mecca and they're doing what they can by bringing bags of supplies to people who need them when they have the chance. They tell us they hope their giving will encourage others to do the same. We don't even know, you know, um, just a little kindness of bringing them someone new socks or, you know, gloves or hat in the cold. Maybe something they've been, they cannot afford, but it's something they would really appreciate that we all take for granted. Toothpaste, toothbrush, um, tissues, um, chapstick. Terry Robertson, her daughter and granddaughter, are out giving bags of snacks, toiletries, and clothes to people without homes right now. Robertson says she's been doing this for a decade, but now it's more personal. Joshua um, was my first son, and um, I adopted him when he was two days old. He had a lot of um, neurological problems, and the neurologist said he will probably always live with you because he, he has so many gaps that he's going to have a lot of trouble. Robertson says her son struggled with drug addiction, and despite their efforts to get him help, he ended up without a home living similarly to the people they try to help now. We had him come home um, last Christmas at this time, and I had a terrible feeling that he wouldn't be around much longer. And a week after Christmas, I woke up to go to work and tried to wake up Joshua, and he had been, he overdosed with fentanyl. The family says they're working to start an organization called Josh's Journey in remembrance and to help people who struggled like he did. We do not look away. I cannot, st it's easy to look away. It's really hard to walk in someone's shoes. I haven't walked in their shoes, but I have had a close family member that has. There you go. There's just a few things hopefully you can use in there, okay? Terry Robertson says losing her son around the holidays hurt, and with the season coming back around, it's even harder. But she says continuing on and helping is what her son would have wanted.